can you just reset with you really quickly? Um, how are you feeling right now? Sure, obviously, I mean, as, as you all know, there's not a lot of facts on the scene. The officer's been transported to the hospital. Everybody's thinking of the officer and their families. He's very much in our thoughts and prayers right now. And it's just a, certainly a, you know, a reminder of the sacrifices that our police put in every single day, um, keeping our community safe. This is one of the safest communities in the country. And um, everybody should be, I think, thinking of the officer and his family um, and being grateful to our, our police at such a difficult time. Not that this, you know, this can happen anywhere at any time. Absolutely. Any other safety measures that the the county may consider or the council may consider going forward? I, I think it's premature for that. Um, as far as policy changes go, I think we need to get all the facts of this this situation to, before we can decide what what We're are the next also, steps. You know, as our, our anchors are talking back at the at the station, is that you know there's a manhunt going on right now. Uh, but we don't know what places are are being told to stay put or not come out. Businesses, schools, things like that. Um, how how serious is that? I mean, it's a serious situation. How do you handle something like that? Well, I'm I'm going to defer to the the police PIO and uh, and Chief Jones as far as the the public safety announcements here. They're you know they're they're making those calls in real time. Tom, what were you doing this morning? I know I was preparing for our 9 a.m. editorial meeting when I got a text tipping me off to this. What were you doing and you know, what was your initial thought and why come down to the scene? Oh, well, I was headed to Rockville for a, our public safety committee hearing um, and got there and, and pretty quickly turned around and came back here once I found out what the circumstances were in Silver Spring. Um, I, you know, the police are into identifying this officer. I don't know through your sources if you know who the officer is and if you have a personal relationship with him. Um, there's nothing more I know now that, that I can say I'm good, you know, in touch with them and, and there's a lot more facts coming out, but there's nothing I have now. As a council member for, for this area, um, it, it can't be easy to see your district or your, your, your coverage area going through this right now. No, no, it's, 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 it's very, very troubling. Um, okay. It's, you know, it's a reminder I was there the night the Flower Branch had the explosion and the tragedy there. We, you know, it's a, it's a wonderful community um, and uh, I think the best community in the, the whole area. And it's, it's, the whole community is going to be suffering when you we have an event like this. It's going to be on everybody's mind for a long time. What is the message that you send to whoever did this? Pardon me? What is the message that you send to whoever did this? Well, we don't, I, I don't think we know any of the facts yet. So I don't think I have a message um, about that. We're, we'll find out more very soon, hopefully. This office has a visceral reaction to what's going on. Is there any of the political things that are going through about the police that make you think twice about uh, any of the elements of it? I'm not sure what you mean. No, well, I mean, I, mean well, well, I think we have to get the, the facts. Advisory commission, you've got uh, um, some other things, the Let Commission. Um, it makes you think twice about any of the elements of those legislation. No, I, I, th I think this community is very supportive of our police. We have an outstanding police uh, force. Uh, they're very highly trained and well compensated and highly performing. And, uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll wait and get the, the facts of this case. Um, but we're very, very supportive of our police and everybody in the community should be. Tom, we're live on the air right now. I just want to ask one question uh, while we are. Uh, this is your district. Um, just to, you know, viewers that are tuning in right now on uh, our, our air, what do you say to your constituents who are waking up and, and hearing about this unsettling news? Um, I, I think everybody just needs to, should take a deep breath and let the facts um, come out. Uh, we don't know all of them yet. Um, it's, you know, it's a reminder that um, there's, there's always risk out there that our police, um, when they sign up for this job, they, they put in an enor enormous amount of sacrifice and put their lives on the line and put their families uh, put up with an enormous amount of sacrifice as well and that we should be supportive. But I don't think there's anything, um, I think we all should just keep them in our, in our thoughts and prayers right now as, uh, as we're getting more information. Tom, thank you. No, thank you, Kevin. Tom, thank you. Thank you. Okay, Council Member, your first and last name just one Tom minute. Hucker, I represent Silver Spring on the Montgomery County Council. Could you say it again, please? Tom Hucker, I represent Silver Spring on the Montgomery County Council. Tom, I, I so, yeah, so we just heard from the uh, Council Member in this area, uh, Council Member Tom Hucker.